What's up? Welcome back for another edition of the Kickoff. Here we are, week 16, two games left for the Washington Redskins in this lost season. They are now 3-11. and Will they hit 3-12? and Can they pull off an improbable victory and pick up a fourth win of the season? I don't know. Uh, what are some of the things we're going to look at? You know, there's not a lot to look at because nothing's getting better with this team. But as always, I think you're going to say it's all about the quarterback. Yeah, it is all about the quarterback, Jones. You know, if people want to get some other stuff from, like, videos, people talking about this team, go someplace else because I'm talking about Robert Griffin III. I'm talking about Jay Gruden. I'm talking about what a mess this situation is. You know, Jay Gruden couldn't make it any clearer. He doesn't want Robert Griffin III. Robert Griffin III, even if he does something halfway decent, it, 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 it's not what Jay Gruden needs. It's not what Jay Gruden wants. And, you know, now people in the organization, well, I shouldn't say now, for so, several weeks, people in the organization have been telling us that Dan Snyder plans to bring both of these guys back, which to me just seems crazy. I, I mean, to, to, to have a quarterback and a coach who aren't on the same page or even in the same reading from the same book is a problem but then they have a quarterback and a head coach who just can't really work together who, who can't do the things you need a quarterback and a coach to do to be functional to, to be able to lead an organization lead a team I mean it's just crazy to bring these guys back and you know look Jay Gruden has a five-year contract, so I can understand Dan Snyder not wanting to fire him after year one, and I can understand Dan Snyder holding out hope that Robert Griffin III will turn back the clock to 2012, but that ain't happening. I mean, it's definitely not happening under Jay Gruden, and when you look at all the problems this team has, to prolong this Gruden Griffin soap opera after you had the Shanahan Griffin soap opera, I mean, how many soap operas do you need to see before you finally say to yourself, you know what, this is a TV show I just don't want to watch anymore? Yeah, but the problem is, is, like you said, both guys are under contract for next year, and Dan Snyder is holding out hope because of everything he invested in Robert Griffin. So, you know, Griffin's got to go out there. We saw in the first half against the Giants game, he did really well when they were running the ball a lot, when they got the play action going, the rollouts, uh, things like that, when he's making plays on the run. But in the second half, when they went to that straight drop back passing attack, that's where he struggled. Jay Gruden said he doesn't expect perfection out of him. He just wants to see progress. So for Griffin, it's going to be being more confident in the pocket, looking downfield, throwing with anticipation, pulling that trigger with decisiveness, not hesitating. Hey, can I, can Josie, can I interrupt you? No, this is my time. Okay, right but let me, let, me okay, just say, let me just say this one thing, Josie. Let me just say this one thing. You know, people, you know, like when you talk to football coaches about the things Robert can do well, yeah, you know, moving him, moving the pocket, you know, rollouts, all that type of stuff. But you can't do that for a whole NFL game. And see, I think that's what a lot of the fans don't understand is that you can't roll the pocket, you can't do bootlegs, you can't do gimmick stuff for the whole game because these defenses and these defensive coordinators and these athletes on defense are way too good. And after a while, you get that figured out. There comes a point. In every NFL game, if you are trying to be competitive in that game, you are going to have to drop back in a traditional pro-style offense and throw the ball after reading the defense. And look, I, I mean, I, I know people are like, hey, why doesn't Jay Gruden just do what he did in the first half? Because you can't do that throughout a whole NFL game. It just doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, because, Josie, back to you. And the reason being is because when they fall behind, you can't, you don't have the time to try to hammer away with the run game and pound and pound, and then the play action doesn't work. And so then that's why, as you're saying, you have to go with that. But, you know, Jay Gruden said he wants to get a lead so that we don't have to worry about Griffin throwing 30 times a game and dropping back. A and, lead. You know, a but lead. that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. This team has not gotten leads. Right. And so when you don't have that you don't have the luxury of relying on Alfred Moore. So it's going to be very important against for the Redskins. They're going against a team that puts up a lot of points. And I don't know, this could be ugly on Saturday. We will see what happens. Thanks for being with us, and we'll talk to you next week.